Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. I want to first and foremost say hi, Stevie. I hope you're having a great day. Um, hey, Sal, Terry, and Heather. Awesome to have you guys here. If you are on YouTube, excuse me, if you are on YouTube Live, please say hi. Let me know you're here with us. I can give you a shout out. I will be taking callers in a moment. So a uh, couple really quick things. Um, a couple really quick, good things. Um, first and foremost, I want to say, hey, Jess, uh, Stevie is still just so grateful and thank thankful for this weekend. Um, and he keeps just telling me what an amazing time he had with us this weekend. So thank you so much for that. It was awesome and fun. Um, I, I realize, folks, I'm, I knew this. I'm just going to say I knew it. My, my body is too little. I'm just saying I'm not a roller coaster person. Yeah, it's tragic. <clears throat> It's not, <laughs> but uh, my brother is and Jess is, which is awesome because they rode all the coasters and I, I almost died on one. <laughs> I didn't, um, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating this much. <laughs> I'm just telling you, there's no such thing as one size fits all unless it's an earring. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I tried. I made a good, honest attempt. And I wish I was making this story up. I do. I wish I was making that. And I'm not. And I wish I was. So we're on a roller coaster. And this thing jacked me around. Like my body. I All I could think is there should be a chiropractor at the end of this coaster for us because all I can feel right now is my whole body falling. <laughs> so I make it through the roller coaster and I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't die on it. <laughs> yes, there were little kids on it. That is not the point. <laughs> but I get off. And I feel something wet on the back of my leg. It's not me. Somebody else getting off the coaster had thrown up on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just tried to pull me out of the way of this person. <laughs> Too little, too late. <laughs> oh my gosh. But they had an amazing time. An amazing time. And I did too. I did. I had an amazing time with uh, Jess and Steven. Uh, yes, uh, two days ago, right? Two day, Whenever it was, two days ago. It was so much fun doing all of that. It was just simply amazing. <laughs> Even the throwy up part <laughs> was fine. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, on to next. So, um, so many things I want to share with you. First and foremost, after the first of the year, you might want to steer clear of Chicago. Why, you might ask? Hmm. Let me enlighten you. As of the first of the year, Chicago is doing cashless bail. No. You're wrong. Not, not for white collar or petty criminals. Se second degree murder, kidnapping, kidnapping with drugs, you know, the trafficking kind of kidnapping. Anybody who unalives anybody, basically. Kidnaps them. Int intimidating politicians. Mm, blah, blah, blah. There's a, there's a plethora of things that they're doing. One of them is um, trespassing. The, if, if you call for trespassing somebody's like at your door, in your yard, 
just hanging around, being a stalkerish type of person. All they can do is give them a ticket now. They can't even remove them from your property. I don't even get it. I don't even get. And there are uh, uh, over 400 people in jail right now waiting trial that on the first of the year are going to be let out of jail because of said said law. Yeah. That's keep going, Mayor Beetlejuice. Keep going. Please, by all means, just I can't even I can't even I can't even. I, I don't even know what words. Can, who thought of that and why? What's the what's the motivation behind that? These are violent, violent people who have just committed a very violent crime, and then they're sending them right back out on the street. If they're on uh, parole, they have up to forty eight hours to go missing. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's so not funny because what's happening is this is already, I think one of my friends told me this is already in two other states, possibly East Coast and West Coast and not the Midwest. Uh, this is this is where we have to step up and say no, no, no more, no more. But on a good note, if they are trespassing and you second degree unalive them, apparently you won't go to jail either. I don't know. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. That's that's. Okay, that's that. So there's that bit of information. As of the first of the year, you might want to steer clear of those areas. Um, hey, Jennifer. Hey, Fawn. How are you guys today? Uh, uh, Chicago is up to Chicago has been up to something for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, Jennifer. Chicago is up to something, and it is not something that is good. Um, it's funny because um, I when when we were in just Stephen and I were in Chicago this weekend and on the um, on all the rides the the thing constantly goes if if somebody is jumping line or smoking please report them I go but unaliving people apparently but only second degree <laughs> still unalive but that that. That's okay, but don't you dare jump line. <laughs> it's so ridiculous to me that it, I just can't even, like logical people can't even, somebody please help us with this because this, what are we, where, why, what, why, where, and I know why, I don't get me wrong. I intuitively, I know what they're doing and I know why they're doing it. One million percent into, I'm not, I cannot say it on air. I cannot say it on air. But I do know what they're doing and why they're doing it. So any, any who, anyway, that's fun, right? That's, that's interesting. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get started. I'm going to start taking callers. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. 845-277-9131. If you would like a private session, I will never reach out to you. You can connect with me via my website, uh, which is www.tonig.info. Yep, that's it. Um, I think I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to be saying this morning. There were all these things this morning. Um, 
that I was hearing and I just, I'll get to them throughout the show. If I don't remember them now, we will get to them. I'm just not, they're not coming to me now. They'll come as they're supposed to, I guess. Okay. I did a couple of clearings this morning on TikTok. I'll be putting them on the rest of my social media. One of them is for luck and winning. So Jennifer already took care of that <laughs> this morning. Um, I think Jennifer asked me that. Uh, la, 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 Terry, Terry, you asked me if I could do a clearing for good luck. Yep, it's on TikTok. So you can go to TikTok and get uh, good luck and winning. And the other one was for um, moving forward in life, moving forward with everything life has to offer us. So those are the two that I've done this morning. If you want to go there or to any social media. And let's do one right now for um, luck since Terry asked. Um, I am lucky. I get a no. Let's clear that. I'm winning at life and all that life has to offer. I get a no. Let's clear that. All that is stopped or block, uh, blocked us from winning. Holy. From winning and or having luck, being lucky has been cleared and healed. I get a no. There we go. <laughs> Got you, Terry. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Let's go straight, straight away to the first caller. Oh, and the first caller is um, going to be caller eight, eight, five, six. Now, when I, when I uh, click on you and put you on air, please, um, Oh, please uh, give me your name and where you're calling from. Take me off of speakerphone. Have a specific question and or connection available for me um, so that we can um, uh, get get right, right into it. Here we go. 856, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi, it's Rose Maria. Hi, Beth. How can I help you today? Hi, how are you? Good, 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 good. How can I help you? Uh, whatever you guys coming up for me in their long-term relationship or change jobs or okay. anything that comes up. Okay, so I typically ask that you have a specific question um, because I don't like to spend a lot of time because there's a lot of callers um, waiting but since you said relationship first, I'm just going to look at relationship for you. And um, what I'm going to say as far as relationships go, you know, I, I'm going to tell you instantly uh, as you know, I'm trying to not tap into your energy, but get, get this answer for you. And my head just starts spinning. So, and no matter what area I go to look at, so I'm uh, the first thing that I get is there's just so much confusion. Now, confusion doesn't necessarily have to be you're confused about what you want, just there's an element of maybe back and forth or not knowing or so something. So, I'm just going to do a clearing for you, everybody listening, re listening, watching, re watching. Because this is like just such a uh, whatever energy. So let's. Um, OK, let's start clearing that. We're going to clear confusion, illusion and delusion. And this can happen. Just for a plethora of reasons, and it doesn't even matter why, but we're going to clear this out because while it's here, I'm not really going to be able to see what I need to see for you. So we're going to start clearing that now. And then I'm going to tell you, the first thing I hear is a month and a half. And we are at mid-September. That puts us to the beginning of November. That's about right. Okay. Now I'm hearing, okay, here we go. Whew. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to tell you November, December. So starting in November, things are like doorways are opening for you in like all, like all the areas of your life in November, doorways are going to be opening for you. And it's really funny. The way I'm seeing these doorways is they are clouds opening up. 
into the skyway. And then I'm hearing um, the, 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 I know this is a statement and I'm not sure I'm going to say it correctly, but the, the world's your oyster and something about a pearl. I don't know that statement. The world's a pearl and I don't know, but whatever that statement is, it's coming through for you. Like the world, you're going to feel like, like the, around November 2nd. Oh, that was my mama's birthday. Um, Around November 2nd, you are going to feel a big relief, like, oh, and you're going to feel like, finally, I can get some forward momentum, some trajectory here. I can just get going forward. And when that comes in, a lot of things are going to fall into place for you as far as career, romance, um, life in general. There's going to be some financial, um, some financial things coming through for you, um, and you're going to really be very uh, just in a state of relief. Is what I'm getting for you for that time frame. So what I'm going to say for you is hold on tight until November, and between now and the beginning of November. Do not buy big purchases. Uh, It's really funny. I didn't think I was going to say that, but then I said it. So there's that. Do not do it because that is pure guidance from above. Do Do not purchase big purchases until after November. And if you do have to purchase something after November, do it. If you can hold off until... December 30th into January, it's so much, it's going to be so much better for you. So if you have to make a big purchase, be really smart about it, but don't do it until between now and November, like be really smart about your money. And then if you can hold off even until the end of December with especially big purchases or being a little bit more I want to use the word shoppy, which is not a word, but you know how we hit add to cart, pay, um, just be a little bit more frugal with your shopping and whatever it is, your spending habits. Thank you. And don't let yourself get caught up in Christmas this year. Really do not let yourself get caught up in Christmas as far as like going a little bit overboard this year because you're going to be feeling like you're in a pretty good place. And it's not that you're not in a pretty good place. They just want you to wait until the beginning of January to really know where you are and to be comfortable for some reason. Otherwise, something I I just get the whole one of the things I'm hearing for you. Just watch your finances until January and no big purchases until November. Now, what a big purchase to you is and what a big purchase to somebody else is are two di- two different things. And if there's something you can't help, you can't help it. However, they're really, really want, like, I would say, like, maybe this might mean like, like, don't decide to go get a whole new living room set if you don't really need one. Um, I don't. I think if your washer breaks, you just have to get a new washer. I don't think that's what it applies to. Frivolous, frivolous. Uh, don't do frivolous spending type of things. Okay, love. Okay, that was the weirdest, most non congruent <laughs> message I have ever given in my life. <laughs> Do you feel like that was kind of all over the place? Because I kind of feel like that was all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I got his order. So yeah. That means he's going to contact me. Well, I, I hope it made sense for you. And please, no big purchases. No, don't spend a lot between now and the beginning of November. I feel like you'll have regrets if you spend a lot. I do feel like 
Um, I'm seeing November 15th being a time when somebody can come in for you and be um, a good potential partner. But then I I'm going to say just really go slow and make sure that this is a really good person for you. I also feel like in the beginning of the year, finances are going to be much more stable and take off in a better direction. Okay, love? Appreciate it. Absolutely. I, I and again, I hope that was helpful. I I think you'll have to listen to that two or three times to completely comprehend everything that was in it because it kind of they were trying to get so many messages at once. I just feel like it might have been a little bit um, not as clear as I would have liked it to have been. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank, Appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I am going to go to 415. 415, what's your name? And where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Kate in hey. New Mexico. Hey, Kate. How are you today? Well, my tinnitus is louder. And it's just in my left ear. And anything about that or if there's... If there's any message trying to come through for that, or I don't know, any ways uh, healing for that, it's kind of driving me crazy. I can't sleep. Yeah, you know what? It has been. And one thing I noticed is when everything is cleared and we're in pure angelic energy, it's so quiet. It's almost mm. eerie. So mm. what I'm going to do right now for you mm. and anybody else who has that ringing in our ears or that buzzing, humming, whatever it is in our ears, um, Let's clear that and all that has caused it now. And um, don't worry. Like some people think these are angel messages coming through. Trust me. If it's a tuning, if, if it's an angel tuning that's raising your vibration, if it's a message, they're going to get it to you. It doesn't need to be like this, and it doesn't need to be consistent. Right. Um, so let's clear right. away whatever's causing yeah. this and keeping this yeah, with you us. People say that. Yeah. People say that, that they have no idea. They don't have it. So exactly. Yeah. And it is it is something I, I think people, whatever it is, it, it can be minimized and it can go away. Um, mm. And I think in a way, sometimes it can even be the negativity, the negativity or a negative buzz from not ne it, it could be our own negativity, but it could be the negativity of other people or just the in general energy mm. right now. But whatever it is, let's lighten this up. Let's clear it. Let's get in a better space with it. Okay, love? So we're going to do that right Great. now. And I even feel that like as I'm trying to talk, there's like this heaviness oh. coming through. So for wh whoever needs this, and quite a few people have it, I'm just going to say let's get this out mm -hmm. now. Okay, sweet, sweet girl. Thank you. You are so welcome. I'm going to go to 519, 519, and I'm, I'm trying to get through people quickly because I cannot do an hour show today, and I want to apologize to everybody for that. Um, so 519, how can I help you today? Oh, hi, uh, Tony. It's Jennifer calling. I just have two quick questions. I've got two or one trip planned and then one I'm thinking of doing. So the one trip planned is to Big Sur. Does that one look like it'll be okay? What, um, I'm actually, I'm hearing, what's the other trip? The other trip is, it hasn't been planned yet, but it's a cruise. My uh, significant other got a free one through something. So he says, when do you want to go on this cruise? And my gut's sort of going, eh. Because I don't trust anything still in regards to travel. And remember when all those cruise ships got, you know, put out in the ocean and no one could get on or off? Okay. I Here's what I, I'm going to tell you, really. Six months minimum for the cruise. Big Sur might be a little bit more complicated than 
than you think it's going to be. It's okay. You can go. It's just, there just might be one or two complications with that particular trip. It might be something that you have to, um, you might have to be patient and have some workarounds for it. I, I hope that makes sense to you. Okay. You might have to um, really, oh, yeah. yeah, make some plans, make sure you're giving yourself extra time. I feel like there will be complications with it. If I ask, should they cancel this? I get no, don't cancel. Just be prepared. Um, it might, everything might not go as smooth as you expect it to make sure you have all your verification codes and your um, confirmation numbers, like just ready. And th I know this is going to sound crazy and I'm, I'm just going to tell you this. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this message and I don't like to scare people, but I'm going to give you this message regardless when you're in what when you're traveling for you anybody listening re-listening don't open your hotel door if if you are not expecting anybody even if they're saying their room service or housekeeping do not open the door and do not call the front desk instead just call um it, like 911 or whatever. And the other thing I'm hearing is like, I don't think this is going to happen, but I'm just saying it. I don't think you have to worry about this. I just feel like there's going to be a lot of really weird, odd things going on. Um, so please just be prepared for weird, odd things and be prepared for things to take a lot longer than you expect them to and be prepared for one or two complications along the way. Um, and that is basically what I would say, but I think it will be a good trip reg regardless of all of that. I think it will be a bit, even if like there are some delays in the travel or whatever, I think it'll be a good good trip regardless. So just be prepared for a few complications and you'll be good to go. Okay, love. All right. Thank you very much. And then according to you said, don't take it for six months. At least a minimum of six months, at least a minimum of six months. Oh. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that at that. Just a minimum of six months. Plan it like for at least six months out and you'll be much happier that you did. Okay, love. All right. Thank you very much. You are welcome. You're so very welcome. Okay, everybody, I know this was such a quick, fast show. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I want you to know that I am thinking of you every single day and sending out clearings to everybody who participates in my show in any way whatsoever. Um, I will be back Wednesday at noon. So I'm sorry for those of you that I did not get to today. I will be back Wednesday at noon central to answer any questions you may have and to um, and to um, to give more clearings. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not doing an hour because apparently I can't get, I can't make my voice work today. You guys have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and I look forward to Wednesday. Thank you so much.